The Sony ZV-E10 was marketed as a vlogging camera, so why would you think about it as a photography camera? I've owned this camera now for the last 18 months, and I want to talk to you today about the features that I've really enjoyed using for photography and particularly travel. The Sony ZV-E10 is my first mirrorless camera, and I was upgrading from the Canon G7X Mark II, and my reasons for upgrading are a lot of the features that I was looking for in a new camera. I was looking for a camera where I could have interchangeable lenses, so it really was a mirrorless or a DSLR. I was looking for a camera with great autofocus, and if I was going to upgrade, I wanted to upgrade to a camera that had a bigger sensor than the Canon G7X Mark II, which has got a one inch sensor, and the Sony ZV-E10 has got an APS-C sensor. And another feature that I was looking for was a high frames per second shoot rate. So my main reason for choosing a mirrorless camera over a DSLR is that I was looking for newer technology and also a smaller and lighter body. So it seemed to me that mirrorless was the way to go. Now I had been a Canon shooter, I'd owned a Canon DSLR in the past and obviously my Canon G7X Mark II. So why did I make the switch to Sony? Well, the biggest reason was that I was looking at the mirrorless range and at the time the Canon range was the M range and they only had one R range out. And so it really wasn't too much of a decision to make. And then when I started looking into lens choices, the Sony lens choices, they had a much wider range. So that's how I got to swap from Canon to Sony. So what are some of the features that I have really enjoyed using? From where I was in my photography journey, an APS-C sensor is perfectly fine for me. And I've now grown to love that because it actually gives me extra reach on my lenses. I am absolutely blown away by how good the autofocus is. Love it. It's great for animals, humans, um, it's really reactive, it's really quick, and if the camera isn't quite picking something up for some reason, you can touch on the screen so uh, you can focus in that area, and then it does pick up if you do want the eye autofocus. Some other things that I'm happy with the camera is it shoots in raw mode, it's got all the creative controls, and yes, people talk about the Sony menus being difficult, but once you know what you want to change and where they are, there's so many buttons that you can actually assign on the camera, so I haven't had any problems at all, and I do find it really easy to use for creative controls and it does have a fully articulating screen. So the screen comes out to the side and it swivels. So you can be in all sorts of different positions to actually take the photos that you wanna take. So holding the camera up high or low without having to stretch too much or bend. So I really love that rather than the flip up um, screens that can be a bit more restrictive, at least I find them. Now with all these positive things about the Sony ZV-E10 um, being a great camera and great for travel, I do have one regret from this camera and that is that it doesn't have an electronic viewfinder. I didn't fully comprehend or understand until I started experiencing when I am outside and it is a bright, bright day, it is quite hard to see the screen um, and that can impact on the photos that you take. There are tools and ways around it, using your histogram, um, trying to keep yourself in the shade or moving back into the shade to review your photos, but I do wish I had got a camera with an electronic viewfinder. And so that's on my list now for my next upgrade. At the moment, there isn't a camera that I wish I had purchased instead because the A6000 range by Sony are the APS-C range with viewfinders, but they all have flip-up screens and I would rather forego the viewfinder and have the fully articulated screen. And also those viewfinders look pretty small. I haven't trialed one in real life to actually see um, if it 
is a good viewfinder or if it's a bit more of a gimmick and actually the screen is where it's at. The position of them on the cameras as well wasn't something that I really thought I would enjoy. So until Sony brings out an APS-C with a middle um, electronic viewfinder, maybe a large electronic viewfinder, then yeah, I'll be sticking with the Sony ZV-E10.